Namaste. Thank you very much for joining. Um, so today we're going to start our practice by focusing on the fourth chakra on the Shishumna Nadi. So we did the three other chakras. So the fourth chakra is the Anahata chakra or also known as the heart chakra. So that chakra lies right here at the center of the chest and um, this chakra, the word itself, anahata, means unstruck, rebounding sound, or sound that's unstruck. And so this chakra is signified by two stars, so one upward facing star and a downward facing star. And so that means the three chakras that are below this and the three others that are above this meet at this point. So this chakra has the ability to have a control over both the three bottom chakras and the three up chakras. And so it is also signified by the element of air. And that's really important because breath itself is considered, you know, the prana or the source of uh, prana or, you know, vayu, which is the air, causes us to have this connection with the universe. And so every inhalation by bringing in this prana or this value into our system, we expand our heart, we expand ourselves to be open and full of love and compassion to the big universe, right? Uh, whereas with the, every exhalation, we're connecting with ourselves. And so this place or this chakra is a very nurturing place and it's connected or associated with love. And uh, it's also a place of spiritual evolution because this is the point or the center of both the three top chakras are and the bottom three chakras. And so by opening ourselves, by opening our heart, um, by really connecting with the emotional side of ourselves or our emotional nature and finding love within our own hearts, we're able to then move forward in our spiritual journey with love and compassion for every being and especially, you know, love and compassion for ourselves, because we cannot love other people with our full heart until and unless we are in love with ourselves. And love with ourselves, meaning with our inner self, you know, the real self, the true self, not, you know, the external selves that, you know, that might have some kind of, um, you know, weaknesses, but it's the real self because our real self is that source of light and it's unhinged, just like the word anahata, it's an unstruck sound. And so the color of this chakra is green, which also signifies new development or new journey or new beginning. And so it's a very cleansing sort of chakra that gives new life. And so today I invite you with our practice to really open up your heart. Think about opening your heart and, you know, being open to your own inner self as well as everything around you. So you can really connect to the world around us. And so with that, Let's also really focus ourselves on our breath today. And the Bija mantra of this chakra is yam. So you can either say, keep saying the sound yam. And take a deep inhale through your nose and then deep exhale. And think of really connecting with your inner self as you inhale. One more deep inhale, filling your belly, filling your chest. And then deep exhale, letting everything go, the worldly stuff go, but your inner self is there. Take a deep inhale and let's say the sound of OM together on the exhale. OM. Place one of your hand on your chest, on right above your heart, and you can place the other hand, leave it here on your knee and just keep, just feel your inhales and exhales as with your hand as you do this. And really feel that vayu that's coming in and giving you that prana, the life source through this chakra, bathing it. Exhale. A few more on your own.
and slowly bring your hands to your heart center and really open up your hands just like a lotus flower that's blooming. So keep it at the center of your heart and just imagine your heart to be that place that has this lotus flower that was closed and then now it's just blooming open. This is what this chakra signifies. You're opening your heart just like the lotus flower. And no matter what your weakness is or anything, just like the lotus flower that grows in dirt, but it's pure, your heart is actually pure. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. And slowly, you can place your hands on your knees and just take a moment to really connect with this chakra and just fill yourself with love, compassion, your own emotional connection. And then placing your hands on your shoulder, start to draw some circles with your hands, opening up your chest and emphasizing that open heart and take those circles in the opposite direction. Keep breathing. The air element of this chakra is really important part of yoga because it cleanses, it purifies, it takes you to that new level in your spiritual journey. And slowly come to stillness. And from your place, keeping your hands on your knee and lifting up your elbows, we're gonna twist side by side and every inhale you're gonna twist in one direction, every exhale in the other, really purifying inhales and exhales. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And keep going at your own pace. After 10 or 12 of these, you can slowly come to stillness, place your hands on your knees. And then from here, bring your hands to clasp behind your back, place your thumb on the mat and open your shoulders. Again, think of open heart, inviting always. And stay here looking up, deep inhale, deep exhale. You can release your hands and from here crossing over your one foot over the left. You're going to sit in this cross-legged seated position. Bring your hands to clasp behind you on the back. Opening up, looking up. Release your hands in Gomukhasana. Then cross over your feet in the opposite direction and bring your opposite Hands to clasp, tipping your head back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, one more. Exhale, slowly release your hands and then come to a neutral tabletop. Feet, knees are slightly apart from one another. And let's do some cat-cow stretches from here. As you inhale, draw up your chest, slide your chest forward, look up. As you exhale, crawl your back, look inside. Inhale, shining your chest. Exhale, looking inward. Inhale, one more. Exhale. From here, bring your left hand at the center of the mat. And then as you inhale, extend your right hand overhead. And then bring that right hand underneath, coming down to your right shoulder, laying your head down and extending your left hand forward. Just thread the needle for the posture. Stay here for three breaths.
and then slowly come up. Bring your left hand this time, right hand this time at the center of the mat. Lift your left hand up, look up, and then bring that hand to slide underneath, coming down to your left shoulder, laying your head down, extending your right hand forward, and staying here for three breaths. Open heart, open chest, inviting love. And slowly come up from here, coming back to this neutral tabletop position. And then from here, really step your hand, both hands forward, really in front of you. And then extending them forward, bring your, slowly bring your chest, if you can, all the way down. You can lay your forehead down and just stay here. If, you, if your chest doesn't come all the way down, it's fine. You can bring your chin down or your forehead, whatever feels comfortable, and just stay here, really opening your heart, feeling that place, your inner caves of your heart really opening up. And then slowly, I'm gonna come up and come to a child's pose. And in your child's pose, just sit back on your heels and you can bring your forehead down. Hands can be by the front or your side. And just let it go and surrender. As you feel your heart beating, you connect with yourself. Just stay here for three breaths. Priyat Priyatama. This is one of the words that signifies this chakra, which also means you are love and you are able to love. And then slowly come up and then coming to Virasana. Just feel your breath, every cell, every part of your body. Exhale, let it go. And then tucking your toe, come to a downward facing dog, slowly in downward facing dog, making sure your hands are really pressing on the mat. They can be spread apart or together. Heels, if they don't come down, that's okay but really bring your chest and thigh to connect, loose neck, looking towards your belly, activating all of your chakra points, but really feeling that heart center. Just like the lotus flower, blooming, opening, inviting. Just like the spring when everything starts to bloom, and then slowly look forward and start to take tiny steps towards your hands. Really tiny steps. Once your hands are in line or your feet are in line with your hands, you can roll up one vertebrae at a time, sliding your hand forward, stacking your chakras. Head is the last thing to come up. And shine your heart forward in Tadasana. Palms are facing forward. And just stay here for deep cleansing breath. Bringing in that vayu in your body. And then exhaling, let it go. You do a round of sun salutation. So inhale, sweep your hands overhead, high prayer. Exhale, swan, dive all the way down. Inhale, straight, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold inside, pressing your hand, step left foot all the way back. Knee down, look up. Bring your right foot to meet the left, coming to plank. Drop your knees, drop your chest. 
Slide your nose forward to cobra. Exhale, bring your nose down, tuck your toe, come to downward facing dog. Three breaths, looking towards your belly. Look forward, step your right foot forward this time. Drop your left knee down, untuck your toe, look up. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Flat back, look forward, exhale, fold inside. Inhale, high prayer, exhale, release. Coming back to Tadasana or mountain posture. Open heart and letting in that love and compassionate feeling. Bathe every part of your body. And then inhale, sweep your hands overhead one more time. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Pressing your hands, step your left foot all the way back. Drop your left knee down. And then from here, you're going to slowly press yourself up, coming to this Anjani Asana, setting yourself. And staying here, you're going to bring your hands this time, crossing over your elbows, and try to really open up your chest and look up. You can rest your head on your hands. And again, connect to your breath, the vayu, the prana that's flowing in your body. Three breaths and slowly frame that right foot. Tuck your toe, come to downward facing dog. Let's do three rounds of breaths here. Deep cleansing breaths, looking towards your belly. Inhale, and then exhale, open mouth, let it go. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. Look forward, step left foot between your hands, you can slowly drag it forward. Drop your right knee down, untuck your toe, prepping yourself for Anjani Asana. Staying here, and then when you're ready, grab opposite elbows, rest your head back. And slowly frame that left foot, tuck your toe, coming back to downward facing dog and staying here for one nice big breath. And then step your right foot in between your hands. You can slowly drive it forward. Bring that left heel all the way down. And then slowly press yourself, coming to Virabhadrasana. And from here today, you're going to bring your hands all the way back and bind them. So we really emphasize this open chest. And look up, opening up your chest, pressing in the outer corners of your feet. And you really think of this as Jitendra, which means someone who gets who has control over all of the organs, the vital organ. And that's also what this chakra signifies. After your third breath, you can straighten that right leg. You can release your hands, placing them on your hips, and then turn forward, bringing both feet parallel to each other. And again, bring your hands back to clasp Opening up your chest, look up. And then slowly tip your weight forward and bend all the way, looking back in between your hands across and staying here. For three breaths. Awesome. 
audible breaths. And then slowly you can come up, placing your hands on your hips, turn your right foot inwards, left foot forward, so that your right foot at, is at that 45 degree angle, and then bending your left knee, preparing yourself to come to this warrior two in or Vira Bhadrasana. So bring your hands to clasp behind you, open your chest, emphasizing open chest today, looking up for three breaths. And then slowly you can straighten that leg, release your foot, turn that right foot forward, and then step your left foot to meet the right. Coming back to Tadasana or mountain posture and taking a nice cleansing breath. And here, bring your hands now to clasp behind you on your back and really, again, emphasizing open chest. We're really opening up our heart with our asada practice as well as internally, we're thinking about compassion, love, priyat priyatama, like I said. You can love and you can be loved. And slowly release your hands. And one more time, bring your hands to clasp behind you, open your chest, and then from here, tip your way forward, bring your head all the way down. You can bend your knees and try to bring that chest and thigh connection. Looking inward. Stay here for two more breaths. And then slowly releasing your hands. You step one foot back, step the other foot back, coming back to downward facing dog. Let's take one more breath here. But this time, stick out your tongue and let it go on your exhale like a lion's breath. So look towards your belly, inhale. Stick out your tongue, look towards your nose. <sighs> let it go. One more time, inhale. Stick out your tongue, lion's breath. <sighs> Next time, let it go through your nose, inhale. Exhale. Pressing your left foot on the mat really firmly, lift up your right leg towards the sky and find your balance here. Again, prana or your breath is the source of that balance. And this is the point, this is the chest, this is the heart chakra that brings in that balance between all the bottom chakras and the top three chakras. So find your balance here and then slowly start to bend that right knee, the lifted leg, right knee. And you can stay here. We're gonna go to a wild thing posture. So if you've never done this, slowly you're gonna tip your weight and step that right leg down and really reverse yourself coming to this wild thing posture, opening up your chest, you can stay wherever you are if this is too much for you. You can even do this by bringing your leg down and just open up your chest. A little bit of a modification here. And then slowly again, turn down, reverse yourself down, coming back to downward facing dog. Drop your knees and come to a child's pose. Let's rest here and catch up with our breath. Bring your forehead down, rest on your heels, and feel your heart beating, your chest, open chest. The heart chakra is also important for dhyana, which is in all of the other aspects of yoga, like dhyana, pratyahara, Pranayama, all of those begin sort of from here at this point. So think about that. And then slowly press yourself up again, coming back to downward facing dog. Pressing this time on the right foot really firmly, on your hands really firmly. Lift up your left leg towards the sky. 
And stay here, find your balance, find your breath. And then you can start to bend that left knee this time and really start to tip your weight towards the right side, bringing that left leg all the way down and opening your chest in this wild thing posture. Three breaths, or you can take the variation that I showed you earlier. And then after your third breath, turn yourself down, coming back to downward facing dog. You can bring your knees down and come back to child's pose. You can feel the openness and the closeness of your heart as you open and you close with your breath, bathing your heart. Bathing your heart chakra. And then slowly from here, lift yourself up and you're going to come to a tabletop one more time and start to shift your weight right all the way back. And you're going to come to recline all the way down on your belly. And bring your legs close together preparing ourselves for cobra posture. So bring your hands, Bhujanga Asana or cobra. So bring your hands by your chest and you're feeling your chest as it's touching right now. And then from here, you're gonna lift up your chest, head and neck, look forward. Slowly bring it down. This is a gentle back bend, but it's also a nice heart opener. And this time lift up your hands from the mat and lift yourself up with a gentle back bend. Slowly bring your chin down and open up your hands, tenting your fingers and lift up your chest one more time. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale, exhale. And then slowly from here, you're gonna come, we're gonna come to Thanurasana. So you're gonna bring your legs close to your towards your chest or towards your back and grab the legs with your hands or your ankle. So you can grab your feet or your ankle and then slowly lift up your chest. Look forward, balancing, focusing on your breath. After your third breath. Bring your chin down, release your legs. You can bring your right chin or your right cheek down. Just stay here for a nice breath. Feel your heart. And slowly press yourself up. Come into child's pose. And slowly coming up and straighten your legs. I'm going to turn this way. You're going to straighten your legs in front of you, nice and straight. And then inhale, lift up your chest, hands. Exhale, fold onto your knee, grabbing the all outside corner of your feet. And then slowly come up and then come to recline all the way on your back. Reclining all the way back. And now bring your feet, heels a little bit closer towards your buttocks. And you can grab either your ankles or place your hands on the mat. We're going to come to Situ Bandhasana or bridge posture. So you're going to lift up your chest your pelvis, pressing your shoulders down, bring your hands to bind and stay here for three breaths. And slowly release your hands and slowly tip both of your knees 
drop them towards the right side and take this gentle twist, bringing your left shoulder down, looking towards the left side. And then slowly bring your knees to center and drop them towards the left side this time. Turning your head to the right, dropping your right shoulder, really gluing it to the mat. Three deep breaths here. And then slowly from here, you're gonna take some circles with your knees in one direction. Take those circles in the opposite direction. And then slowly bring your feet to touch each other, bringing your feet in this Baddha Konasana. And then really lift up your chest right now, bringing your shoulders down and just open, bring your hands in this like golf, po golf post posture. And just stay here with open chest. Feeling that openness at the center of your chest. And then slowly from here, you can turn your feet upwards, grabbing your opposite or grabbing your feet, just turn from side to side, massaging your back, coming to stillness. Bring both knees to, towards your chest really close. And then giving yourself a nice big hug, lifting your head, bringing your forehead closer to your knee. Inhale, exhale a little bit more closer. Inhale, and on your exhale, finally let it go and come to Shavasana. His feet are slightly apart. Hands are slightly away from the body. And just feel this place of openness and surrender. Grounding. And breath can start to slow down. And just let yourself surrender. Slowly start to bring some movements on your fingertips. Wiggle your toes. Point your toes forward. Take a nice good morning stretch. And then slowly bring both knees towards your chest. And then turn towards your right side making your elbow like a pillow and thanking your heart and letting it open to all the light. And press yourself up. Coming to this cross-legged seated position with your eyes closed. In your fingers in this mudra, you're touching your index finger and the thumb. Place it gently on your knee. Take a deep cleansing breath. And 
exhale. And open your eyes slowly. You're going to do a round of Anilom Vilom, also known as Nadi Shodana, which is really good for purifying all our Nadis and connecting with our breath or prana. So bring your hands in this Brahma Mudra where you hold your index finger and your middle finger inward. Place your thumb over your right nostril. Take a deep inhale through your left nostril. Close both nostrils. Exhale through your right nostril, closing that left one with your index finger, or sorry, your ring finger. Inhale through your right. Exhale through your left. Inhale through your left. Exhale through your right. And keep going at your own pace. Let's do about 10 to 15 of these. After you've done 10 to 15, take a deep exhale through both nostrils. And deep exhale. We're going to meditate on the Bija Mantra of this chakra, Yam. 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 Imagining a bright green light at the center of your chest. Feeding your heart, your lungs, all your vital organs with that breath, with the prana. Meditate at this place. You can keep saying the word yum inside. Think of the unstruck sound that's resounding, just like your heartbeat. Heart is full of love, full of compassion, and ready to connect you to the universe. Every breath is cleansing. Love begins at our own heart. at the center of our heart and we're entering our own hearts, knowing, understanding our emotional nature and having a relationship with our own heart, with our own inner self, 
beginning at this point. Space of nurturing, caring, beginning your spiritual evolution upwards. And continue to stay here in this practice of meditating and focusing on your heart. I'm going to sign up. Thank you so much for joining. Love and peace. Namaste.